So I have to admit just at the start of this video that the title is a little hyperbolic, but here I'm going to let the whole clip play in its entirety. So tell me if you can find out the insane drama that is happening with Danny Gonzalez. It's actually kind of hard to write this upside down, but hopefully I'm doing this correctly. Can you even see it in the camera? Can you see the Jake? There's an effect on it. Did I use that effect? Gym light? That's kind of menacing. What other effect could I use? <laughs> no. Okay, let's just do no filter. No filter or nothing. Can I get a... <laughs> Um, I didn't like filming that at all. I might- No, actually, I- I hate that. I'm just, I'm gonna put my shirt back on. Did you find it? Was it maybe because the shirt was off? Was it the TikTok that he's shown on the screen? Here, I'll play you an even smaller segment just to see if you can find it. Missing? What other effect could I use? So if you couldn't find it, I have really bad news for you. You are a genocidal murderer and you should be probably not allowed on the internet. So Danny Gonzalez, who is a phenomenal YouTuber, I mean, he's made countless videos that have made me laugh and he pretty much steers clear of a lot of different drama and I've never seen any kind of cancellation toward him but today is the day that it happens today is the day that people try to cancel Danny Gonzalez one of the most wholesome and innocent people that I've seen on the internet and do you want to know why because of that cup on his desk now yes I'm gonna pull the Adam Sandler approach here and say hundred percent I think all innocent people in the Middle East deserve justice and it is terrible what is happening to all of them. Now myself, along with 99.9% .9 of the internet that think they know everything that is going on over there, they don't. You know, I don't know a lot at all about Palestine and Gaza and all that stuff. The stuff that I have looked into, I mean, it is terrible. It's terrible what's happening to some people in Israel. It's very terrible what's happening to some people in Gaza. Obviously, we should cease fire. Innocent men, women, and children on both sides shouldn't have to be killed or watch their family be killed because of just absolutely absolute ignorance of humanity. That is all that I'm going to go into with my opinion on the Palestine and in and in situation because I frankly do not know enough. Now Danny is getting canceled because he drank Starbucks and you may be wondering well why is Starbucks such a bad thing? So Starbucks publicly supported Israel in this whole terrible situation and of course that led to people getting mad and boycotting Starbucks. Starbucks lost 11 billion dollars in revenue which from the side of the boycott is actually pretty impressive. Publicly through TikTok saying hey don't drink Starbucks or eat McDonald's which McDonald's is kind of in the same boat of supporting Israel in this whole conflict so people are publicly saying hey hey, let's not drink Starbucks, let's not eat McDonald's, we're gonna boycott them, and that's pretty much that. I know personally a handful of people in my personal life that are both not drinking Starbucks and trying not to eat McDonald's, and they have a very faint idea of what's going on in the Middle East. Now, here's the thing. If you want to be a part of these boycotts, if you want to send your message, if that makes you feel like an advocate, if that makes you feel like a humanitarian, you do you boo-boo. But I really don't think you should be freaking out on other people who drink Starbucks and eat McDonald's. McDonald's nor Starbucks are going anywhere anytime soon for the rest of all of our lives. I mean, honestly, I just want people to think about how many times somebody who's so pro-Palestine and so against eating McDonald's has been driving home from like their long shift at work and they needed a quick bite. Where the fuck do you think they're gonna go? And on top of that, I hate to break it to you, but there are so many fast food chains and so many popular brands that do absolutely terrible things to get the product out to consumers that you're probably not even aware of and you're probably supporting them the same way that you're striking against McDonald's and Starbucks. Now in that same vein there was a really popular clip going around of a female streamer that was very upset with Ludwig for only giving $10,000 and not encouraging more people or being more thorough about sending money to Palestine relief. So I personally donated 10k uh because I think it is worthwhile and if you guys got some extra bread I would recommend you donate but I won't throw it on you, you know what I mean? No thanks. And some people are gonna say that, you know what I mean? That's why it's the difference. This is a cracker take. Difference between like, hey, I can put my money where my mouth is, but I don't need to put your money there. I don't need to enter a fucking debate cracker about whether that's worthwhile. Cake. I can tell you right now, $10,000 into any sort of relief fund is a huge amount of money. $10,000 is so laughably large and it's crazy to me that people are just treating it like it's nothing in some of these comment sections. I don't know what brain rot this streamer has that she thinks that everybody can just donate this insane amount of money. I mean, I've never seen $10,000 in my life. I would personally love to see how much money she's donated to Palestine. I think that's the big thing is like Ludwig gave money. He gave a financial
financial contribution to help people in the Middle East. Boycotting Starbucks and McDonald's is so less than actually giving a valuable resource to relief funds that can be used to actually help people. So something funny here that we're talking about Ludwig is I think Ludwig is a very cookie cutter, play it safe, you know, uh, appeal to as many possible audiences as you as you can. And I think that relates back to Danny. I think Danny Gonzalez is very similar in not really holding a firm opinion on anything and his content is very jokish and loose and it's very centrist. And with that, we also have an older apology video from Danny Gonzalez. Uh, was about one of my videos that I posted a few years ago. It was a YouTube Rewind um, video that I made. I made a video about the YouTube Rewind in 2017. So I made it in 2018. And um, in the video, I used a uh, racial slur for um, Mexican people, the B slur. Uh, at the... Um, sorry. I'm, try I'm trying to like stay on my train of thought. Um, I, I like, I totally forgot about that video. And like, if you, a, a few, a few weeks ago told me that I said that I, pr I like would not have believed you. Cause I do not, I, I like, honestly do not remember saying that in the video. Um, a few weeks ago, somebody DM me this, uh, a clip from that video and, uh, I was like shocked at first and then I, and then I took down the video and I apologized to the person. I'm, I was kind of surprised that between like 2018 and now nobody else had said anything. Um, now Danny Gonzalez is talking here about him accidentally saying a slur, a B slur, or it rhymes with, I guess, um, a wiener. <laughs> That's terrible. Cause I should not be using that word. Um, and, uh, so yeah, so I took down the, the, video and um and then uh today I, I saw a few other people posting the video on um on twitter and so i just want to address it to to more than one person because it, uh, originally i just um dm'd back the person that sent me the video and said it made them uncomfortable and i apologized um but if if anybody else saw that video and was uncomfortable by it, I'm very sorry. I should not have been using that word. For, for context, it was um, in the video I was talking about Jake Paul, who had recently come under fire for calling two of the Mexican members of the Team Ten House that word. So I was saying, this is Jake Paul, the guy who used that word against those people. So that is the context I used it in. I don't want to hurt people, okay? So I'm sorry. Um, I feel I feel like a doofus crying because it's not um, not about me. Uh, so don't feel bad for me. But I mean, in this clip, do I think that he's being overdramatic? I mean, yeah. But do I also think that he seems genuinely sincere and uncomfortable with the fact that he made other people uncomfortable? Also, yeah. Like I said in the beginning, I think he's a sweetheart. I think he's, I think he's very wholesome. And I don't know if there's a way that he possibly didn't know about the whole Starbucks thing. Maybe he just really wasn't caught up to it like like 99% of the internet think they are. So maybe he genuinely didn't know, you know, maybe I shouldn't drink Starbucks or not. But I think what he did was fine. He got a drink a beverage and you know he just had it on his table but i guess to extra cushion the blow of the sensitive people in his comments he said i am seeing some comments about the starbucks cup in my new video and i just wanted to apologize for my ignorance on the boycott as someone who thinks the ethnic cleansing happening in palestine is horrible i should definitely do better to stay informed and, and truth be told during this time in my life i have spent little time on social media and news outlets yada 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 basically saying i didn't know about it but now i'm gonna do better and then he links to an instagram where people can see you know creators donating money to Palestine. I don't know. Like I said, I really just think this whole situation's stupid. He shouldn't have had to apologize. It's it's just blown out of the water. If you truly feel good for boycotting Starbucks and McDonald's and that truly makes you feel like you're helping, that's awesome. If you can give money, that's also awesome. There are a lot of people over there that really need these resources. However, if you see somebody eating a Big Mac, don't blow your top. You know, do you let other people do them? Because I promise you, I promise you, McDonald's and Starbucks will be fine after all this is over.